And turning now to the latest on Capitol Hill, where Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema was censured over the weekend by the Democratic Party executive committee of her state. The move comes after Sinema voted against a filibuster rule change, effectively killing the Democrats' voting right bills in the Senate. NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ali Vitale joins us now with more on this. Hey, Ali, good morning. So first, just walk us through the Arizona Democratic Party decision here and what they've said about Sinema since that pro-filibuster vote. Hey guys, good morning. You know, our sources in the room say this was a unanimous decision by the Arizona Democratic State Party to censure Senator Kirsten Sinema for what she did last week, effectively killing that voting rights push by not backing a rules change in the Senate that would have, in this targeted instance, allowed Democrats to move forward with just a simple majority vote to pass that package of voting rights reforms. The Arizona State Party, in a statement referencing those votes, saying that while they take no pleasure in the announcement, they have decided to censure her for her failure to do whatever it takes to ensure the health of our democracy. At another point in the statement, they talk about how a diverse coalition with room for policy disagreements is important for the party, but at the same time, on the matter of the filibuster and voting rights, they say, we have been crystal clear. And you got to remember, Arizona is a place that has seen election audits. That is where the Arizona State Party brought in the cyber ninjas to conduct that election audit. It's a mm -hmm. state, obviously, that Joe Biden won in 2020 and that Democrats have been trying to make gains in for years, a state that's very much at the center of this debate on voting rights on the ground. So, Ali, I mean, you say it's this unanimous vote in the room that obviously doesn't spell out a lot of confidence. What does this mean for Senator Sinema's future within the Democratic Party, within her state, for her reelection campaign in 2024? Yeah, and one of those top election officials within the Arizona Democratic Party says it's unlikely or even impossible that they ultimately support her reelection bid in 2024. That's stunning, but that's not to say that they won't have other options, because there are people who are talked about, although they have not expressed outright interest or said that they are going to run, there are other people within that apparatus who say that they could challenge cinema. among them a sitting Congressman Ruben Gallego, also of Arizona, of course, currently serving in the House, who has been very critical of cinema, especially over the course of the last few days. A lot of eyes watching him as if he's someone who could hop in and primary her. Because to zoom out just briefly, other senators, including Senator Bernie Sanders yesterday on Meet the Press, said they should mount primary challenges to cinema and Manchin. Mounting a primary challenge against Manchin from the left in West Virginia, very, very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. I've covered his reelections in the past. His personality is what helps him get, get reelected. Mm -hmm. But for Senator Kirsten Cinema, someone who's in her first term, this could be a potential primary challenge that Democrats could see succeed. Mm -hmm. And Ali, quickly before I let you go, the future of those bills that were impacted by this filibuster vote, is there any progress on passing slimmed down versions of those two voting right bills? Yeah, those two bills, as they were written and exist, no progress there. But in terms of a slimmed down motion on voting reform, we have seen a bipartisan group of senators come together talking about things like reforming the Electoral Count Act, which deals with how vice presidents certify election results, an 1887 rule in that vein. Senators coming together saying they could see progress on that, as well as something that speaks to voting officials being harassed, something we saw a lot in 2020 and something that the Senate could ultimately move on. But you got to be clear, Democrats have said this isn't enough to replace what they were previously trying mm. to do last week. All right. Ali Vitale, thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.